Hi, this is Derek from Jive Software, and today I'm going to discuss how Jive ties into multiple different document repositories in order to bring in a wonderful experience for the end users, not just from interacting with the content, but the ability to discover that content as well. And so what you see here is a particular group, a container within Jive, and you'll see on the left-hand side that we have a lot of different documentation. Um, we have the product video storyline, which is a Word document, and the Jive roadmap, and the manifesto storyboards that are PDFs, uh, but they could be PowerPoints, they could be Excel, they could be other types of documents. But what's special about this is that all of this information is actually being brought in from another document repository. Um, and in this case, for this group, we're actually using Box. Um, and to demonstrate that, what I'll do is I'll go directly into Settings, and I'll show you how that works. So I'm inside of um, this, the settings of this particular area. I'll say OK. And you'll see that I have the external file storage, and it's specified directly to Box. But Jive can tie into multiple different storage areas. Um, it could tie into Box. It could tie into SharePoint. It could tie into file systems, um, Google Drive. And the list goes on and on. And what happens is, is as you connect it to these document repositories, any activity within those repositories or anytime you add content to this particular Jive area will be persisted directly into whatever you specified. So in this case, everything that is added to this particular group will be added directly in a box. And so if you take a look at how this looks, basically we have the binaries living where wherever they exist, but we really Jiveify it. We, we, cut, we surround it with... Um, the Jive UI, the Jive user experience. So in this case, this product video storyline, if I click on that, it's going to open this up. Um, it's going to have the particular document which is stored in box. You'll see right there it's stored directly in box. Um, but also bring in a preview of that particular document. So I'm able to view that document directly in line. I can iterate through the pages. I can do all the things that I want to do directly from within the Jive UI. Um, but then again, we surround it with all of the different Jive goodness, right? You'll see on the right here, the ability to keep track of any changes, the ability to share it with my team members or groups of people, the ability to bookmark it for future reference, or just to like it, a very small, simple social cue on, you know, this is a very good piece of content. Not only that, being able to do that, but being able to mark, in, mark information or curate this information, um, whether it's official or the latest and greatest documentation, or it's completely outdated. And so in a lot of cases, there's a lot of documentation within companies that's very outdated, but they want to keep it for archival purposes, auditing purposes, etc. And you'll see directly here that I can mark this as official. I can say, you know what, this is a brand new document. I want to mark it as official. Um, and at this time, it's going to be the latest and greatest version of that particular document. But as time goes on and another document's added to the file system or Box or Google Drive or SharePoint or Jive, etc., I'm able to come in here and say, this is outdated. Um, mark this is outdated. Say, yep, no longer needed at this time. Maybe provide an optional URL if to point to the latest and greatest document. Um, I could do just that and mark that information as outdated. Um, and what's really nice about this is that as information is being fed in from the file system or box, we make sure to index that information, to grab the metadata from that particular document, and really make it simple to discover that information. So in this case, if I'm coming in here, and let's jump back into the document collaboration area here, as I'm taking a look within this group, and if, even if I had 100,000 or 200,000 documents within here, I could very easily come and use search and say, all right, um, in this case, click on search. I'm going to type in um, product video storylines, just product to keep it short. And what you're going to see is that it's going to find this particular document. It's going to bring that document here. We are right now, the new product specifications and product video storylines. Um, it's going to tell me, it's going to show that it's official or outdated or finalized, all of that information, and even have some associated metadata with it. So I'm able to discover it. I'm able to jump directly to it directly from search. Anyhow, that's a small demonstration of how Jive uses document repositories um, and really be able to bring in information, being able to really allow Jive to make it a whole lot better, a whole lot more discoverable, and again, a lot easier to interact with, with that information. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.